Alrighty, DreamWorks, even though this was made over 10 years ago and a year before B-Movie, let's see if this movie will make up for B-Movie's mistakes. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Over the Hedge. When a young turtle named Vern, played by the late Gary Shandling, rest in peace, and his fellow woodland friends awaken from winter's hibernation, they find they have some new neighbors, humans, and RJ, played by Bruce Willis, an opportunistic raccoon who shows them how to exploit the suburban bounty laid out before them. Now, I gotta be honest with you. When I first watched the trailer for Over the Hedge when I was a kid, it didn't interest me that much. But then, after I watched it recently on DVD, it was surprisingly a lot of fun than I expected it to be. And a lot better than B-Movie for sure. The story was logical. It makes a lot of sense because the characters in this movie act like the stubborn animals that we deal with nowadays. And it has an articulate villain or plural, I should say, three villains. But the animation was slightly unintentional, though. The movement of the characters feels cheap to me. Take Hammy, for instance, played by Steve Carell, as is, obviously, because he came off as too hyper. He talks way too fast, although Steve Carell did a very good job doing the role because he's the master at comedy, but it felt like it wasn't necessary. That's my only issue about this movie. What's important about this movie, however, is that there's a certain goal that RJ has to attend to, and that fits with the character development articulation as well. He has to deliver a certain amount of food to Vincent the Black Bear, played by Nick Knoll, all the way at his mountaintop home before he wakes up to a full moon, or else, bleh. I love that idea. Good on you, DreamWorks. Also, the voice acting was pretty good. Bruce and Gary were not the only ones who had their share. Everybody played a part in their roles. Wanda Sykes, William Shatner, Catherine O'Hara from Home Alone, everybody, including the cute and adorable Steve Carell himself. In the end, to top it all off, it was enjoyable for what it is. It's not the best, mind you, but it's definitely not terrible either, by any means. It was fun, fast-paced, logical, and a great family treat your kids will definitely get a kick out of for sure. So as a result, I rate Over the Hedge four out of five stars. I mean, if you're a fan of B-Movie and you love it to your heart's content, that's totally fine. But I'm just saying, this movie's a lot better. So Over the Hedge, have you seen it? If you haven't, let me know in the comments what's your favorite DreamWorks movie that involves talking animals. Zootopia does not count because Disney made it, not DreamWorks. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. Also, as you saw in the beginning of this video, click the lower third ad below my face. Remember, you don't have to do anything within the ad. All it takes is one click, that's it. That will definitely show support for both my channel as well as my review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.